Hi everyone, this is Elliot with Exotic Motorsports and this is our 2007 Ford Shelby GT500 with 16,500 miles. The car is in immaculate shape. The whole car is ceramic coated. Front clear bra on the front bumper. Has HID headlights and LED fog lights. As you can see down the side of the vehicle, there aren't any blemishes or imperfections or anything on it. I really can't find a single scratch on the whole car. I've looked very closely and it's, it's, I, there's none, which is really, really nice. As you can see, it has the upgraded 2013, 2014 uh, replica SVT performance wheels. No wheel rash on any of the wheels. Paint corrected, ceramic coated, flawless, flawless paint. Nitto NT555R drag radials. So you can see there that wheel doesn't have any wheel rash on it. The car has a brand new clutch in it. Not even broke in. It only has 100 miles on the new clutch. So it'll have to have 500 miles on it before you can really get on it. Coming around the back of the car. Updated taillights to make it look like the... 2013 and newers. And also check out the full model list on our website. The car has plenty of goodies. Passenger rear wheel. No wheel rash or blemishes on it. Coming down the side, passenger side of the car. Again, all is straight, no dings, no dents. Carbon fiber shorty antenna. Right front wheel intact, no wheel rash or anything on it. Front of the car looks great. No bumper rash or curb rash on the front splitter either. Just a very, very well taken care of car. We'll go take a look at the interior. You can hear that clicking and ticking. That's the CD player. A lot of the Ford six disc CD players had that issue where the CD cycles. It doesn't have any splitting up here where a lot of the GT 500s of this year model had. Shaker 1000 audio. Upgraded custom seats with reinforced side bolsters. Center console, as you can see there, doesn't have any rips or tears. That's not a rip in the seat. It's just a little imprint. Back seat looks good. So it has an upgraded iPad interface audio system to where you can have um, Bluetooth in the car now since this car didn't come factory with Bluetooth but the nice thing about it is that it doesn't lose any factory functions because it is all still a factory radio right behind it the volume knob is obviously off of it because it wouldn't fit with the iPad but it's right here in the center console that blue wire is hardwired uh, through the car and it comes out the center console i'll put this in here so that way you can put that back just like that it stays in there and down here you can see the blue wire comes out and it plugs into that little receiver there which is the bluetooth function where you can just bluetooth uh, through it through an app and play all of your music pretty nice little feature to modernize the car a little bit Steering wheel looks good without any imperfections or blemishes or anything on it. No wear. Like I said, for the year, this car is clean, clean. That module right there is actually a heads-up display. And I'll show you how that works here in just a little bit. Beautiful, beautiful car. It does have two lights on on the dash. One of them is the tire pressure light which is because the drag radials are less than uh, factory spec on your PSI, so that way they could work. 
and the second one is a airbag light airbags are functional uh, nothing wrong with the system it's just that with the new seats uh, in the car it doesn't communicate correctly with it from what i am told and from what the previous owner was told whenever he took it to the factory they said that everything is functional it doesn't it everything should work uh, there's obviously no way to really know other than testing it and wrecking the car so let's not do that um, but everything from what he was told in order to have these seats it's just something that was going to have to be on on the dash so um, I wanted to say that before firing it up because uh, that way you can hear me clearly and um, you can expect it and then we'll take a look underneath the hood here in a little bit once we fire the car up There's the airbag light on, low tire pressure, obviously, like I mentioned. I'll close the driver door. Driver door, seat belt. I obviously don't have my seat belt on, and then the brake light, which if I release the brake, the light goes off there. So, yeah, that right there is a little heads up display, and it's only flashing because of the LED, the way that it uh, shows up on the um, through the phone, but it's not actually blinking in person. So it shows you a whole bunch of different features, mile per hour, voltage, RPM, uh, coolant temp, all that good stuff. And it plugs into the OBD2 uh, to get all of its data and information. So definitely a pretty, pretty cool little feature. And then like I said, anytime you wanna touch the iPad, uh, you just hit the home button, it fires it up, and then you can change whatever you need to on that. If you don't like that, and if you want it back to the factory radio, it's just easily uh, you can take it off and put it back to factory because it's like I said it's right behind it so uh, real plug and play very easy very convenient um, let's go take a look underneath the hood of the car real quick So as you can see, it has the gas hood struts that uh, were an add-on because normally it has the uh, stand right here. This piece has been painted to match the car. So when you open it up, it all flows through. There's no cheap black plastic or anything like that. Um, obviously upgraded performance parts. You can see there it has a 5.8 liter blower on it. It is still the 5.4 liter um, that originally came in the car. The motor is not different. They just upgraded the supercharger. JLT cold air intake. Looks like it has a BMP uh, throttle body spacer. Very nice, tasteful parts. Some billet bolts. Strut brace, all that good stuff. Very, very well put together car. Very detailed car. Someone will be very, very happy with this thing. And that's our 2007 GT500.